Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrick. The first deputy president of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, president of the General Sports Authority and president of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, congratulated His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and uh, to His Majesty the King's representative for humanitarian work and youth affairs, chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, on the birth of His Highness uh, Sheikh Khalid bin Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa. His Highness Sheikh Khalid prayed to Allah the Almighty to bless him with abundant health and happiness and to grant him success to serve his country under the wise leadership of His Majesty the King. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdel Latif bin Rashid Azayani, gave a press statement on the official visit of the Prime Minister of Israel, Naftali Bennett, to Bahrain, noting that this visit will further deepen and strengthen cooperation while advancing shared goals. Azayani stated that His Majesty the King and Bennett held a comprehensive and constructive talks. He added that His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister also held discussions with Bennett, reviewing progress and exploring ways to further develop joint work and advance the aspirations of both countries and people. The minister noted that during these meetings, both sides underlined the importance of the Abraham Accords and the declaration supporting peace between the two countries as a reflection of His Majesty the King's approach of promoting the values of tolerance, coexistence and dialogue and consolidating security, stability and peace in our region. He noted that the two sides reviewed the steps taken in a number of areas and reaffirmed the importance of further broadening and enhancing cooperation. The Minister of Foreign Affairs stated that the two countries agreed to strengthen relations between our people, especially through educational, cultural and academic cooperation, emphasizing the importance of engaging young people in the peace-building process. Aziani noted that the two sides also discussed political and security developments in the region, including the Iranian nuclear file, terrorism, extremism, poverty, with both sides underlining the importance of intensifying joint efforts to address regional challenges and threats, maintaining stability and security in the Middle East and enhancing regional and international peace. He added that the Prime Minister of Israel invited His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister to visit Israel, an invitation which was accepted. It is a historic uh, visit for the first uh, Prime Minister of the State of Israel to visit uh, Bahrain. Uh, the, the Prime Minister uh, uh, Bennett has uh, met with his, uh, his Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa and uh, also with the Crown Prince, uh, Prime Minister, uh, His Royal Highness Sheikh Salman bin, bin Hamid Al Khalifa. And the, the talks covered many areas, uh, starting from how we can build on the uh, Abraham Accords and uh, how we can further develop the, uh, the areas where we can achieve more uh, stability uh, for the region and security in, in general, but above all really for the, the peoples of uh, Bahrain and the peoples of, uh, of Israel. Uh, also they covered uh, in the talks, areas in the economic, economic uh, cooperation, mm -hmm. uh, in the field of uh, the high tech, mm -hmm. uh, how we can cooperate in that area, investment, how we can encourage uh, trade, mm -hmm. tourism, uh, and also on the traditional way of uh, manufacturing and, uh, and, and economic uh, cooperation such as uh, banking, uh, but in the high tech level, uh, like fintech, etc. Yeah. Uh, as a result of the talks, a, a joint economic committee has been formed between the two uh, parties uh, to overlook how we can further enhance the cooperation in all uh, in the areas that I have mentioned. Uh, Plus, uh, the, uh, the joint strategy, strategic or strategy mm -hmm. for uh, war and peace has been approved. It uh, lays down the priorities of cooperation and how can we further develop the, the cooperation. Mm -hmm. And of course, uh, all the geopolitics 
have been discussed uh, in general. On the sidelines of his official visit to the Kingdom, Israel Prime Minister Nafili Bennett met with a group of Bahraini youth. The meeting was attended by the Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism, Zaid Marashid Zayani, the Minister of Youth and Sports Affairs, Ayman bin Tawfiq Al Muayyad, the Director General of the Prime Minister's Office and Cabinet Secretary General Hamad bin Faisal Al Malki, the Ambassador of Bahrain to Israel, Khalid Yusuf Al Jalahma, and Israel's Ambassador to Bahrain, Itan Al Nai, along with a number of officials. The Israeli Premier has expressed pleasure with meeting promising Bahraini youth to further deepen the principles of peace and openness. He affirmed that the meeting contributes to the idea of peace as a strategic choice to all people to achieve prosperity and stability for all. He said that his visit to the kingdom has enabled him to closely review its history, culture and civilization, which he said has long represented the principles of peace and coexistence. He affirmed that knowledge is the pathway towards progress and that Israel's keenness on investing in education and the youth has laid the foundation for scientific and technological advancement. He urged Bahraini students to carry forth in the process of education and positive engagement with modern technology while welcoming the exchange between youth delegations from both countries as a means towards or strengthening the bilateral ties. So from our perspective, we call these youths Lama Gems, effectively. Um, and, and I think today was a perfect example of how we can showcase uh, our talents. I, I think the conclusion that we hear from, from our guests um, is that if we stand out in any sector, or if we stand out as far as any segment uh, is concerned, it's definitely talent, so the availability of talent. Um, so it was, it was beautiful to hear uh, from our guests. Um, they've, they've traveled the world, they've seen what they have in Israel, they've also seen what's available around the world, and they also recognize that the talent pool that's available in Bahrain um, is unique, to say the least. Um, so, so needless to say, this opens up opportunities both for the youth, also opens up opportunities for companies abroad to see the talent that we have here and, and sort of initiate, organically initiate initiatives. A joint statement was issued following the conclusion of the visit of the Prime Minister of Israel, Naftali Bennett, to Bahrain. The statement welcomed the first official visit of an Israeli Prime Minister to Bahrain and affirmed the support of bilateral ties through the joint warm peace strategy. It hailed Bahrain's commitment, long-term commitment to interfaith tolerance and the promotion of peaceful coexistence was laid the foundation for establishing relations between the two countries. It also noted that the meetings held between the two sides contributed to enhancing relations and cooperation between the two countries and governments. The statement stated that the two sides discussed strengthening strategic and security relations to face regional challenges, including nuclear threats, terrorist activities, extremism, poverty, and social challenges. It affirmed that Bahrain represents a gateway for trade between the East and West, as such both countries are cooperating to explore ways in which regional trade and investment opportunities can be further developed. The two sides agreed to expedite the negotiations and agreements for the protection of investments and the joint work on a tax treaty, which will provide the infrastructure for promoting secure commercial cooperation. They agreed to strengthen and encourage joint trade and investments and mutual visits of ministers and government officials and the establishment of joint economic committees to enhance cooperation. The two sides also agreed to deepen ties between the two people through cultural exchange and educational and academic collaboration and called on young people from both countries to actively engage in peace building. They welcomed the building of a bilateral 10-year plan called the Joint Warm Peace Strategy, which will serve as a roadmap for the development of relations and will be jointly led and reviewed by both ministries of foreign affairs. The statement said that His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa was formally invited to visit Israel. The Prime Minister of Israel, Naftali Bennett, and his accompanying delegation departed Bahrain today after an official two-day visit. He was seen off at Bahrain International Airport by the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdel Latif bin Rashid Al-Zayani, the Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism, Zayed bin Rashid Al-Zayani, the Ambassador of Bahrain to Israel, Khalid bin Yusuf Al-Jalahma, the Ambassador of Israel to Bahrain, Ita Nai, and a number of Foreign Affairs Ministry senior officials.
In the presence of the Undersecretary of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs for Political Affairs, Dr. Sheikh Abdullah bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, the French Embassy organized a ceremony marking the 50th anniversary of diplomatic relations between the two friendly countries. More in this report with Yasmin Ibrahim. France and the Kingdom of Bahrain launched today at the residence of France the celebrations of their 50 years of diplomatic relations. The event celebrated the special bonds of friendship and trust that have linked the two countries. We're delighted to be at the French residence uh, in the Kingdom of Bahrain to celebrate the uh, 50th anniversary of uh, diplomatic relations between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the Republic of France, uh, this bilateral relation which has been built on uh, trust and confidence and mutual interest has been developing gradually over the years and we are very glad on the continuous uh, positive momentum that this bilateral relation has been uh, developing over the years. The increase in the bilateral trade between the two countries, the continuous exchange of high-level visits between Bahrain and France, the continuous uh, cultural exchanges that uh, we are delighted to have representation from Bahrain and the Louvre uh, and Paris and, and many more. We are delighted to see the increasing number of Bahraini students studying in France and uh, having the French language being taught in Bahraini schools and many more. Uh, uh, positive developments that we are very proud that have been uh, achieved over the past uh, many years in the Kingdom of Bahrain. Our relations, it's diplomatic for since 50 years, but it's much more than this. Uh, I checked all the fields of cooperation between our two countries. It's a huge uh, <coughs> uh, cooperation, sport economy, finance, university, health, justice. Everywhere there is some uh, French, uh, there is French Bahraini cooperation. So uh, it's worth to have this uh, event tonight. The ceremony unveiled the many events that will take place during the year 2022 to commemorate the friendship and celebrated the several personalities who have embodied this relationship in different fields so important, uh, notably on this cultural aspect, the friendship and the relationship, professional relationship between France and Bahrain are so strong and so vivid and we practice, we have a lot of projects from many years. The event featured an art piece to symbolize the cultural cooperation and closeness of the two countries, illustrating the actuality and the future between the two countries. Uh, we wanted to really show the fraternity between our country with using uh, different techniques, different kind of uh, painting and also to collaborate with two Bahraini artists. The 50-year friendship magnifies Bahrain's strategic importance in the region and its pioneering role in many areas while highlighting the strong historical ties between the two countries. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Yasmin Ibrahim. Sebastian Loeb is targeting victory in next month's Abu Dhabi Desert Challenge to put Bahrain Raid Extreme BRX on course for a maiden title triumph in the inaugural FIA World Rally Raid Championship. Today, VIPs and members of the media had the opportunity to discover for themselves why the greatest rally driver of all time and the pro driver hunter from such a formidable combination. More in this report by Hib Abdel Ghaffar. The nine-time World Rally Champion shows everyone today what makes the Pro Drive Hunter special. Sebastian Loeb is targeting victory in next month's Abu Dhabi Desert Challenge to put Bahrain Raid Extreme on course for a maiden title triumph in the inaugural FIA World Rally Raid Championship after finishing second in last month's Dakar Rally in Saudi Arabia. From a base at Bahrain International Circuit, BRX has completely rebuilt Loeb's Pro Drive Hunter after creating Dakar history in Saudi as the first top team to complete the rally with cars running on next-generation advanced sustainable fuel. Bahrain really is the, the home of motorsport in the Gulf region. This is where it all started. A lot of interest in motorsport from Formula One right through to World Rally Championship and now the cross-country rallies as well. But Everyone's got to remember that it started here. Bahrain had the first Formula One track. We had rallying here back in the 1970s before anybody else. So, and you can't take that away from Bahrain. So the, uh, the support it gets now from Crown Prince is fantastic. And uh, I think everyone recognizes that this is where it all began. 
BRX team is a team that was formed to, uh, uh, to compete in Dakar Rally, which takes place in Saudi Arabia every year now. Dakar is probably the most famous, uh, the most challenging car rally in the world. It's, uh, I've described it to people before as like Mount Everest of car rally. Since Dakar, Loeb has secured a memorable eighth career win in the Monte Carlo Rally in his first World Rally Raid Championship start since 2020. And the Frenchman is in Bahrain this week as BRX fine-tunes preparations for the Desert Challenge running from 5th to 10th of March. Today, VIPs and members of the media had the opportunity to discover for themselves why the greatest rally driver of all time and the Pro Drive Hunter form such an amazing combination. I like driving with this car. Uh, I enjoy to have the, the support of Bahrain because uh, it seems that it's a lot of passion uh, in the, uh, around the motorsport here and so it's it's nice to be here today. I was uh, in the uh, Formula One track yesterday uh, to meet some, some people from, from Bahrain and also uh, yesterday night it, it was uh, the drag race there, uh, the testing and it was just uh, impressive so uh, and what I see especially is a lot of passion about motorsport and that's that's great to see. The BRX Pro Drive Hunter is a product of the partnership between Bahrain Mumtalakat holding company Mumtalakat, the sovereign wealth fund of the Kingdom of Bahrain, and Pro Drive, the British motorsport and engineering group. After taking the BRX guests on a series of drives over the desert terrain, Loeb immediately will turn his focus to Abu Dhabi, where he will be making his first desert challenge appearance. Bahrain has always been the home of motorsport in the region and today Bahrain Raid Extreme is organizing a great event for people to enjoy the rally experience not with anyone with the world rally champion for nine times Sebastian Loeb such an amazing experience Hiva Abdel Ghaffar Bahrain International and to talk more about the support given to motorsports in the Kingdom of Bahrain, we have with us a statement from Chef, Chief Executive Officer of Bahrain Mumtalakat Holding Company, Mumtalakat Khaled Armahi. Our partnership with ProDrive presents the opportunity to introduce to the Kingdom of Bahrain further high technology industries, which create employment, enhance local expertise, and raise the profile of Bahrain as a center of technological excellence in the region. The drive behind our investment in ProDrive was beyond building a racing car and a team. As in this occasion, BRX has completely rebuilt Loeb's ProDrive Hunter from a base at the Bahrain International Circuit, which reflects Bahrain's infrastructure for high technology sports and industries. The same re car rebuilt in Bahrain will be used in all international races BRX team is joining, which is something that makes us proud. <laughs> 